trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmers return. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our allies has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shane. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. Only the rules beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I... I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. But it's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. Should be nearby, Captain. An English vessel, and she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. And let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Pretty sight. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's plans. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to clip her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. No spoil. We can board and lose her before the crew knows what she's done.
Brace yourself! The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandell is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye. Per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Captain Janelle! Has the hand. Mates, out! Let's go! Get them aloft! Don't sound sane! Let's go, anchor! What's on your mind, A bit of business, that. <laughs> captain has the wheel. We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. We're clear, Captain. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. The fault patrols these waters closely, Captain. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! They must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. How much must they pay? And would you look at that? Standing right in our way, Pat. Cut. We'll say we sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Caesar. Salt air, open skies, a man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shane. Mind your duty. 
But what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The Templars stick to this continent like tar. I won't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men, instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? There it is. Anticusti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Captain, how's the hell? Blue's down. Catch some wind. Go on ahead, Shay. We will meet you at the fort. Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could get it. Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. It's your turn to find him. You, sir, have our thanks. 